Anyway, let's get to the point. All right, so we're, right now, the song we're listening to is Pokemon Sun and Moon, unused boss theme cover by Pokemixer92. That's Mixer without me. Today, we're eight, we'll be ranking beta Pokemon. Great. Not we'll rating, be, not ranking. We'll be rating beta Pokemon. Um, this is just for, er, 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 this is for, right now, this is for, this video, oh, oh, we'll mainly cover. Uh, this video uh, will, with a few cover, exceptions, cover, uh, over the first generation, uh, this video will cover the first generation of Pokemon. And, and keep in mind, I know these and scrap Pokemon from red and, and green. And in 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 in, in no uh, oh 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 disputed Pokemon. Uh, 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 Pokemon that haven't been officially confirmed will not be or Pokemon or placeholder Pokemon uh, such as Boohe or uh, E Dragon Four uh, or, or, or or Papio uh, oh, and Cabin and will not appear in this video. Uh uh um. Oh. Uh, no. Only Pokemon that are, uh, are official, as in uh, sprites that have been shown off in official interviews, or or or, or have been found in. <laughs> Do you mind that's for most of Gen One sprites, uh, or have been found in, within the, in the master or within the leaked master files of Red and Green. So yeah. So, uh, let's start off with a simple one. We'll be going over these in kind of weird order. First, we'll start with the stuff that's been shown off in interview. Who's only? Stuff that's been, well, just, these are actually from the website. First, we'll go over, uh, well, first, we'll go over, uh, 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 one Pokemon. On it. And then we'll go over the list of Pokemon huh, on, on the cutting room floor, so or comparing in, in beta designs to final designs. Because, and then we'll go over. And then we'll go over the stuff in the master files. Mm -hmm. Without further ado, let's start. <laughs> right. First, we have uh, first the an awkward Pokemon that doesn't fit into any of these categories. Kokana. A Kokana, a Which... line whose first stage starts out as a beta, beta beetle, but evolves into something completely different. Sangi. Uh, 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 uh. The, which the, and it's on and, and the final evolution is on remains unnamed. And, and, and I'm assuming this line, yeah, I mean, it could have been bug fighting. In 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 this in the idea of a bug the idea of a bug fighting type was able to be visited a generation too with hair across. But what would you with this line? I guess they did. Yeah, it's so, very unique. I wouldn't mind getting it over Beedrill, but I, uh, but I also don't mind that we got Beedrill. I'd say I like both of them equally. So this one, I'll rate this one an eight. Same thing here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, here, here. And, I mean, there's all, also, I mean, there's also another one that was on the website. Yes. What is it? This one. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, let's go over some beta designs now. Uh, uh, so, uh, First, uh, let's start with the beta Venusaur or Ivysaur. Uh, this is from an era before evolution was a thing, so I mean the sprite looks pretty faithful or the, or the final, but, uh, uh, but there were a few tweaks such as, uh, you know, it looked really flat and awkward. And yeah, this was Ivysaur actually. <laughs> or, it yeah. had the index no number. Oh, it has the same index number as Ivysaur though, so that's what we'll be referring to it as. As it yeah, I'm glad this uh, uh, got well, they redesigned it. It has a flat body with, you know, this weird, weird with a long this, palm this, tree this, e e e coming out of it. A back. face that begs please, that's just telling you, please kill me. Yeah, at least the final design doesn't look like it wants to die. And uh, yeah, I definitely prefer the final design. Even if the sprite, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot yeah. to mention, will be in for our original Pokemon, such as Evolution, Scrapped Evolutionary Relatives, or, or completely different standalone Pokemon, we'll be rating them, uh, them on their own merits. But for beta designs, we'll be uh, 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 going over whether we like the beta design or the final design better. Uh, 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 um, and we, uh, 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 with, uh, as for Ivysaur, as for, uh, as for Ivysaur yeah, the final design is much better. <laughs> and by the way, a, a, for the purposes of the Gen 2 video, uh, oh, 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 Pokemon that were her, 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 covered in this. No, no, Pokemon that were covered in this won't be included. And we got, um, and there's the, and we also uh, oh, oh, won't count po and we also are also uh, oh, oh, not cons comparing 
in scra in ev scrapped evolutionary relatives that later have that role filled by a future Pokemon. For the most part. For example, we're not directly comparing Jolanwa and Tangrowth or Ballerine and Mime Jr. Uh, we're, we're treating them as standalone Pokemon. Uh, uh, um, 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 so, so with that being it, it said, yeah, Venus, Ivysaur, yeah, we got the better. We got, we got the uh, better design. And so next, let's go over Spiro. Um, <laughs> or Omo Omo. Spiro. Um, this is a. This is a strange Pokemon. So, so <laughs> chunky. Yeah. Yeah, this is weird. Definitely, it screams is, is period one. Mm -hmm. uh, first period uh, designs. The designs. The, uh, the final Spiro looks a lot, a lot more believable for a bird. As for this one, I don't think this thing could fly. Uh, yeah, it's a... Something. So as soon as he's to be made of mostly rounded fat. Not even feathery, it just seems to be fat. <laughs> then there's Clefairy, which, uh... Oh. Oh no, that's horrifying. And that is... Yeah, we're just gonna cut to the chase and say the final design was way better, and I'm glad they didn't go with the beta design for this one. Okay, and I, I, I possibly showed off the idea of the concept of Mirage Monsters. Mm -hmm. First, first. Possibly present in the fact that our organized uh, Pokedex uh, ex, uh, uh, species name is the legendary Pokemon. Uh, and this growth did not exist at this time. Time, and it was standalone, meaning that it likely was intended as a legendary. And come up. We have the name Wendy. So, <laughs> I still do like the final. It's more like a Pegasus. But yeah, it also has horse-like features such as hoofs. And yeah, uh, but I still do like the final design more so the fact that the uh, the original design looks kind of looks kind of derpy and uh. <laughs> you know, unbalanced. Well, the final design looks more majestic, and I really like the strict the addition of the stripes. And then there, uh, uh, and then there was, uh, 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 was and then the there, seal. Uh, I really like the beta design in comparison to the final design. <laughs> it, it just. It's just much more pleasant, and also, well, it's not more pleasant to look at. It's just well, more interesting. Also, to look at. I think it's not like the scythe on its tail. Or I think it's just the angle. Yeah, the whole, the whole, angle. It just looks like the like half of the tail is pointing directly towards the camera and happens to line up it's, with the base. The image is kind of the, the picture is kind of blurry. Face yeah. and the other part of, and the other split on the tail and all faces outwards. Yeah, it's kind of yeah, it look it uh, look. You can kind of vaguely see a line right there implying that that is a two prong tail. It's just that one prong is facing the camera. If I'm lined up with the rest of the tails. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to make kind of gives the illusion of a scythe in this right. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, we, yeah, this is like the only instant. And so, but, uh, well, yeah, okay. That's it. Also, no, 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 it? Yeah, but we, I also, I just really do like this more than the seal design. Not because it's easier to look at. It's more it's interesting. It's pretty ugly, but it's way more interesting and memorable than the seal we actually got, which is generic. <laughs> it's cute, but generic. So yeah, I prefer the beta seal. Also, oh, on a side note, uh, 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 there's just a back sprite, a, 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 not a beta, beta design, but an uh, unused back sprite of the OK, which was interestingly enough of, of, of a full body in one the back sprite. Perhaps one of the first back sprites. Perhaps, <laughs> perhaps the first back sprite. Maybe it was. It's because it's obviously because of hardware reasons. Other er, er, Pokemon include. It would tend to quit, tend, uh, tend to quit, I mean tentacle. Tentacle, who had shorter, and they gambler, who had a mouth and shorter uh, uh, tentacles. It's weird. Well, well, more tentacles, even. Yeah, I don't like the mouth. Yeah. And, okay, were there any others? There was, remember what Gyarados is called? Oh, oh, oh. oh the atrocious Pokemon? Mm, yeah. It was pretty atrocious. Also, actually. remember why? Also, hey, remember? Er, 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 you know why Gyarados is flying type? It was, only just, it was only just covered. It was only just covered. It's tentacle. I prefer the final design. Yeah. It's, oh, you want to know why Gyarados is actually flying type? It's based on a wind sock. Uh uh. And well, well this the, the, this old design and was more apparent when we made it that one. more even more apparent. Uh, uh, yeah, this thing is quite. Grotesque. Yes, with no facial features other than a gaping round mouth with tons of saw-like teeth. I it, definitely, I definitely, I definitely, weird and weird, 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 
scared away, uh, uh, a weird insect like a limb. I definitely will. Sorry, did you, did you, uh, uh, did you prefer this over the, uh, the final? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of split on this one. Maybe. I one guess you kind of saw this I, I, the, I, the more surf, the more, the more, more, more rounded, yeah, like, menacing, and, and menacing version of Gyarados. Because we kind of seen every yeah, Gyarados, but yeah. It kind of, it, personally, I actually kind of like this one more. So yeah. yeah. What am I more uh, kind of an anime? Especially if you interpret its original color as being red, it, it, it seems like a much more fitting evolution. More natural magic. progression of Magikarp. Uh, 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 oh, I do like the Gyarados. Oh, uh, 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 the Gyarados uh, idea of uh, I mean, the, the dragon legend myth, based on the legend. The dragon in legend reference with Gyarados. Uh, 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 I actually, I'm gonna say I like both designs equally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of them is far more grotesque and primal, and the other is more, uh, 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 well, more menacing. Is, uh, more, it fits. It's the it's the classification. This one uh, the grotesque the, Pokemon better. The, the, the atrocious Pokemon. The atrocious Pokemon better. Okay. Uh, Rhyhorn aren't slightly. Rhyhorn are not some slight. That was um. Uh, slight uh, Yeah. Uh, not no, not just, point. No point in uh, uh, point in giving that one. That then the there's uh, remember I mentioned Dragon Four. Well, it was actually <laughs> there's actually a kind of metamorphosis it went there went in design. They altered it a little and gave it mantis features, like specifically mantis claws, and claws, claws, and, and bug wings. Oh, but that's... later, they ended up uh, up scrapping the dragon idea and making it a full-blown humanoid mantis Pokemon <laughs> with a few, dr- with I guess you could say a few draconic aspects to it. That, that's we're of course talking about Cypher. Yes, this. The, is the awkward metamorphic phase between Dragon Four and Scyther. Yep. Or, yeah, that's uh, something. Lapras and Sh- Lapras is in shoulder also have big designs, but Lapras wasn't in, in drastic enough, and shoulder just is just a smaller cloister. So, would you prefer? Would you, would you prefer? Would you prefer? Do you prefer or, 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 or what we got? The final cipher. I definitely prefer the final cipher. <laughs> this is a, an interesting point. And it's interesting to know that Scyther was one of the. There was one of the, uh, and, and the fir- earliest Pokemon designs. Well, I mean, and also, and hey, maybe it would have been a, a dragon type. Which is a type we still don't have used. Fuck you, Yon Mega! Oh, I got a Yon Mega, what are you doing? When you literal dragon flies. Mm-hmm. I, I, anyway, it, it is, I think that covers it for, be, it, for beta, it, it, unused design. It was beta, it was, po- it was final Pokemon. Mm-hmm. No, that means. Oh, right, thanks. And so, oh, oh, we, eh, so we, eh, eh. hey, 13 minutes. All right. Well, let's get it. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this. Yep. The, uh, the, 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 uh, the assets from the, from the, not a, not a ROM, um, um or, or, or beta, f- a, 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 a version of the game. Because to them, sir, that never existed. A, a, a series of master, the, the, ma, the master files to uh, the generation one that contain oh, a, a, just tur- uh, just tur- that could switched t- on. That were just uh, uh, that they just took pieces from uh, and put them together like a puzzle to form the final games. And, 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 just these, and this, it's just that uh, uh, some the, of the, 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 these contain the backs, at least the back sprites of the Pokemon pieces that were left out. Uh, 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 out. And an artist has missed, has reinterpreted these. Artist, I think, re- <laughs> re- re- it, 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 it's going uh, by uh, internet, uh, by your internet, uh, at alias as Racy B. He uh, uh, redesigned, uh, uh, took, interpreted the sprites. Okay. Right. So let's ask. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So the. Uh, oh, oh, uh, you know, unless these Pokemon were her official beta designs we've seen. Or even you know, in places other than this, or Pokemon that also appear in the gold, gold, gold and silver beta. <laughs> oh, which, which is Alpha. Or Alpha. There's a, which there's a surprising amount of, of of Pokemon that don't fit those criteria, oh. and obviously aren't final designs. Were, were designed by this person. 
what, 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 what had their back sprites interpreted and and had corresponding front sprites created by this person. So, anyways, uh, uh, yeah, these were made by uh, this. They, these are all shown off in a wrong hat. Uh, 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 for the front sprites, the front sprites were shown off in a wrong hat. Uh, uh. But without further ado, let's get into this. Oh my god! Oh my god! So it sounds more like, or it's probably sounds more like, oh my god. <laughs> Uh, this is index uh, number 21. Omega. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Isn't that Mu's index number? Hmm. Well, kind of. Well, oh. was just, 21 was actually an, an empty slot. 21 was actually, it, it was it, slot index, Mu was placed in a different index, <laughs> ex apart from, uh, from the main files. Or was, or was put in the index slot 21. Uh, 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 long after Omega uh, 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 was Long removed. after Omega was removed from the final game. Omega was, as you could guess, was one of the one of the earliest designs. Oh, it has these. It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, well, it's uh It's literally it should be Mecha God and Godzilla. Uh, uh, like I, I think is uh, yeah, obviously it, it, yeah, a lot of the beta Pokemon didn't really take copyright infringement into account. Uh, 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 so. Oh, Omega is a, is a interesting thing we haven't seen. It, it, we haven't true in a true create recreation of. We haven't seen a robotic war machine Pokemon. On three, uh, on. Yes, there are mechanical Pokemon, but none that were specifically created with the with the, the, the idea of being a war machine. But the, the closest we have is Genesect, which was stated to be a revived form of an ancient Pokemon, not created from scratch. <laughs> So, oh, uh, so that, so, uh, uh, oh, uh, Omega, uh, and, well, yeah, Omega was presumably a, a Mirage monster, er, 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 the original, uh, of the ideas. It, 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 it's hard to find, uh, things that would, that would take you a really long time to, uh, to encounter. Either, and you can only get one per save file. I, I, uh, also, uh, what, what would you rate Omega? Hmm. Oh, give it an eight. Solid design. I just think <laughs> it was, was it was possible possible was it ever re we ever did anything close to this? Mm -hmm. The closest we have is Agron. Not not Zerulodon. They look nothing alike. And, They're uh, just oh what other than the Tyranitar thing or rivalry thing. But I think Fuck Agron you. pulls that off way better, even if it does have a significantly lower base stat total than Tyranitar. Uh, 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 uh. But still, <laughs> anyways, is I'll give this a nine. Yeah. So that's an 8.5 for Omega. And there's... Gaiu Gyo Gaun. Onomatopoeia for Godzilla's Roar. This, this kaiju-like Pokemon can be seen... Has, 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 it, its inspiration is spread at, at, at a ton throughout the Pokemon. Uh, throughout the Pokemon we know today. Like, like Dio King ride all, uh, on a Tyranitar. Actually, Dio King and ride on... Uh, um, or some... I Dio King and ride on an originally existed alongside this thing. It was. I think this um, one was scrapped. I guess to quote Pokemaniac Steve about uh, uh, Tajiri, it, it, his idea. Rick Burley and Buck Booker are so, yeah, yeah, clearly fit, clearly accurate. So I assume this one was scrapped for being the mo being the least interesting of those. Or as we dealt, or as we gave it, a, gave it, the, gave it the name, uh, Quadzilla, and as we interpreted it as a ground dragon. Yeah. Type. By the way, Omega would uh, uh, might have been an uh, been an electric dragon in type. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, maybe Eve Down and uh, uh, Omega were. Oh yeah, Down. Down um, actually has a pre-evolution known as this. Yeah, though who's Down? Uh, Priscilla. Priscilla. Uh, uh, it, 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 this looks. This is why might look familiar. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 as this is the Pokemon uh, uh, for the well, substitute doll. Well, at least this front sprite. I I I I, I was it, it, It's back sprite. Looks really looks. I I know has that pattern, but is it looks really disgusted. Yeah, presumably this was the Pokemon um, that they based the substitute doll on, but this Pokemon, but it just so happened that this Pokemon was removed, and yet the substitute doll remained unchanged. Yeah. yeah. So, really interesting in, in piece of history there. Yeah, it, yeah it, Zilla and Quadzilla. Uh, 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 presume, yeah, presumably Quadzilla and Omega might have been rivals. Uh -oh. Kind of similar to, to Tyranitar and Agron. 
But perhaps Omega was a sort of a ver- sort of rare variant of it. Yeah. Kind of like what Yokai watched it in Oz. You mean, yeah. Oz of having rare uh, reskins. Mecha versions. versions. We're doing mecha versions of rare reskins of, uh, uh, of, of, of Yokai. The thing is, these Pokemon might have been uh, were probably extremely powerful. Mm-hmm. And, and at least due to the fact that the Scylla existed, it appears this one was not a Mirage monster. So this would have presumably been an Alex presumed Ground Dragon. Right. Or probably Pure Dragon, but... Yeah, I interpreted it. There might have been a lot. Damn, we could have had a lot more dragon type. I, I think. I, I, I think Gen One. So I got. I say an electric dragon. If it was introduced nowadays, steel, steel dragon. And, and fuck you. Who to rule with the hung? So yeah. Uh, what do you rate Gong? When we say. We oh say, yeah. What do you rate? The any, family. I'll rate the family a a nine. I love nine. Steel, uh. <laughs> Now speaking of Nidos. As, 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 as you should know from the, uh, from the index map, XLS, the internal list, Nidoran and, and male and Nidoran and female, alongside Nidorino and Nidorino, were added very late, uh, right at pretty late into development. Um, I guess Nido This King. is index 32. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nido King and Nido Queen were er, er, some of the earliest. Uh-huh. Uh, apparently, there was a smaller Pokemon, so it seemed to be related to them, but not. But I'm unsure about how this would have evolved. But I assume it would have evolved into either Nido King or Nido Queen. The genders weren't a, weren't a factor back then. It was, it Unless there was something else that determined its evolution at that point. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Like maybe due to the fact, maybe how genders are determined in Gen Two based on the attack stat. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, maybe that would determine the evolution for Nidorain. Uh, yeah, Nidorain it is the fan name. Mm-hmm. It was a, it's a, it's a, it, the front sprite and, and, and back sprite, uh, uh, back sprite too, seem to have, have been ter- uh, of, uh, 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 of char- characteristics of, of both, both Nidorino and Nidorino. So, yeah. Presumably, uh, uh, this Pokemon was later split to make them two separate lines. <laughs> and so, the thing is, uh, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Also, yeah, like I said, Quadzilla was probably revised into Tyranitar. Mm-hmm. Alright, so yeah. Anyways, is it, it, the design? It's 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 alright, but the concept I love. I'm giving this one an eight. Yeah. Next, we move on to uh, who uh, a balloon. It's literally a bo- Pokemon here are so chunky. There should be all the. Oh, the pink floral pattern. This one is not a floral pattern. Well, it count. yes. <laughs> it's just a balloon, literally. Yeah, it's, it's just... It's a balloon with, be- with, with, a, with a simplistic face ace. Blunder. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. The, uh, the Pokemon Ro- Roaming Red gave this the name Blue. No, this, no, the, no. Uh, the, or, that was Or Balloon. Yeah. The, 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 the hack that uh, showed of these all was, you know, gave this the name Blunder. Damn right. Damn fitting. Because, yikes. And this is a blunder of a design. I'm glad this is really yeah, Five. Yeah, five. It's so generic. He, he's, he's the leader of the bunch. You know him well. well. He's finally back to well, so punch some ice. Well, he's he actually... never came back to punch some ice. Free Zeddy. He, he made a jinx. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was Frizzetti. Yeah. Magmar our, our has Fire Punch. And Mag, our, our Magmar has Fire Punch. Electabuzz has, has a, a Thunder Punch. And Jinx has Ice Punch. Wait, it's a... What? It's a... It's a psychic type. Uh, 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 and the punches that doesn't look like it's punches would be very powerful. Uh, huh? Oh, well, that's where this thing comes in. Uh, uh, well, that's where Ur- Ur- Urfrizetti comes in. And this was the original mem- uh, a member of the trio. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 considering it, it, its placement alongside them. I mean, we, ha- might, we might actually have... I think we have its ofi- kind of have its official name. In, 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 in its Japanese name, Boo. Uh, it was it, it, was it, was it, was it on a sprite? It was, on, it was, on, uh, was in that, that manga. That, that was a whole... But we couldn't see its its sprite. It didn't have a sprite. It didn't have a sprite, but just a name. 
and, and well, it, it's it, it, its appearance seems to be based on who, 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 uh oh, uh, 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 this was always intended to be the feminine one of the trio. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. I mean, we don't have a, 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 a real fun sprite. <laughs> but uh, its back sprite seems to have a pretty good implication on what this Pokemon would look like. It's a real, it's a damn shame in this, in this was lost. Mm -hmm. Uh, so this would have had to be but maybe maybe Jinx could have been a standalone Pokemon free from having to live up to the expectations of Zelectabuzz and Magma. And as well as the fact it what makes this even more tragic is that uh, uh, Jinx was uh, slotted in into the final gate and, 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 and to be part of that uh, group. But, but which persisted for a few gens and, and until and until generation four when Magmortar and Electivire came, but, but Jinx, Jinx didn't get it in evolution. And, 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 and being permanently left in the dust in future games. And, and only remembered for and only, only remembered for its co for being for, 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 for its controversy, or if you're not aware of that, just how dumb it looks. How, 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 how weird it is. How weird it the Pokemon looks. But free, uh, X, X, which is also a shame because Jinx is actually a pretty good Pokemon in terms of battle. Also, oh, that being said, rating ten. 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 I love this one. As you'd say, it's a. Uh, Cool. Oh, it's one cool Ooh, Yeti. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so we're so clever. Moving on. Next we have Scaraboo. Scaraboo. Who or uh, deer or oh deer? Maybe deal like steel like deer and steel. Eh. Yeah, but it looks like a mechanical deer Pokemon. Yes. Why do you think? Why do I think it's mechanical? Well, you basically no, just right? has... because its neck is it seems to be segmented. Like it has joints, like, joints on its legs. Because it has joints. It's a sort of its legs. Why have you ever seen a deer? It 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 a pointy tail. Yeah, so sure. We, we have deer Pokemon on, um, but we don't have a mechanical deer Pokemon. We have a generic deer, deer Pokemon, and, and, a, uh, and a deer Pokemon very in tune with nature. So what about one in tune with the artificial? <laughs> Oh, 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 an artificial Pokemon created to be to fit it into a natural environment. <laughs> That's an interesting. interesting concept. <laughs> also, okay, at least we did. At least better than the balloon. Um, this one's actually interesting. At least maybe this thing was the natural predator of Blunder. Yeah, maybe <laughs> with how Blunder, spiky it is. Blunder was possibly revised into. Thankfully, Drifloon, which is a much better Pokemon. Is much be the Drifloon is much more. I'll be a very <laughs> Drifloon yeah. takes kids away. I'll be a lot more disturbing as well. But but anyways, it is the yeah, Scarabo <laughs> Ten. It is the coolest deer Pokemon, and that we never got. We never got. Next is Trample or er, Elepathy. Or Elepathy, as you call it. As we interpret it as a uh, type based uh, on uh, Roman uh, Red. Uh, as version, uh, 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 as a dish, uh, as manga, a hack. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> so uh, we think at this point it would have been pure fighting or ground fighting. Which, ground fighting is, is an unused type. And also, fighting types are really uncommon. Uh, standalone fighting types were. We didn't fighting. get a lot of fighting types until Generation 3. Mm -hmm. My god. Mm -hmm. You had, seriously, you had the hit, Hitmonlee? Hitmon oh yeah, it was the Hitmons, Machamp, Primate, and H H Polyrath, and Heracross. Yep. That seven was fully evolved fighting uh, types. As of Generation 2, seven fully evolved fighting type Pokemon. Yep. So, the scare, er, 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 no, so, uh, Elepathy, your Trample. Uh oh. Well, this elephant Pokemon. <laughs> We um, didn't actually get to see the full sprite of it. We got a great glimpse at it, but we don't know. We got the full o o o o o o version. Mm -hmm. we, yeah. Might might have been, been, might, well, we did eventually get a ground type, a uh, presumed ground type. I, at least if this if was, this was um, supposed to be a ground type, we did eventually get a, 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 a spiritual type. successor for it in the form of Dawn Fan, another yeah. ground type elephant Pokemon. Yeah, I like Dawn. I, 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 I like Dawn Fan. Yeah, Dawn Fan um, is actually a much more interesting Pokemon in this, too. Yeah. So, uh, oh, oh, what would you rate it? This? Oh, rated it seven. It's a decent yeah, design. Seven. 
<laughs> then there's a. <laughs> but I'm glad we got Dawn and which is much, which is much more interesting. And here's a personal favorite. <laughs> One of my personal favorites from uh, instead of all being Pokemon, Crocky <laughs> or Crocodile. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a uh, this goofy looking cr and crocodile Pokemon with on with on bulging eye, <laughs> um, with a serpentine shape and bulging eyes. Wait, a, a crocodile with bulging eyes? Yeah. King K. Rule. If if this thing ever became official, I would have named it King Rule. That King. Yeah, so yeah, we have uh yeah we sure we have two crocodile Pokemon. Uh, 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 crocodile with. The sand dial and toad dial line. But it would have been interesting to have a more goofy looking one. Probably this would have been a water type. Uh, uh, maybe maybe water pure water. Type, or maybe ground. Rock. Or grass. Maybe even dragon. Dragon. Maybe even dark if it, or if it was, was, was brought back in a future generation. But it, it, it looks really dopey. And I just really can't help but love it for that. It's 10. <laughs> Definitely a 10. And there, there's. <laughs> And there's another evolution. Uh, back to back to two uh, scrap the lines. Lines and we have have have, have the, uh, the evolution line of Waddle and Pendraken. Uh, or 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 as I gave them the names Inkling and Inkraken. You can tell by the by the these you can, uh, uh, it, 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 yeah as you can tell by the uh, the sprite. The, uh, the, the data sets showed they were related, and a lot of people probably wouldn't have figured that out if it wasn't for they probably wouldn't have figured it out if it weren't for the data because. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to tell what the pre-evolution is based on its appearance, but the final evolution, but the second stage is clearly a squid, so this one probably was probably like a squid a, too. It looks like, 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 loop, like the bloopers. Yeah. There's, there's even a lot of Gooper Blooper fives, which is funny since Gooper Blooper was had a way off. Way off. It, it, it's a way. Hey. Uh, 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 but, uh, it's, uh, but uh, yeah, if you see that, it's uh, obviously that you're going to be a pen. Yeah, it's a, a ballpoint pen in its, in its first stage. It's, you know, the last painful type of pen to be poked with. And then an old fashioned forked pen. Uh, 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 and for her uh, 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 These designs are represented in their mantle. Uh, 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 Possibly these designs were revived. Uh, possibly, uh, you all more were, loosely. More loosely, we later did get a two-stage squid line. Uh, that had to do more. You know, but it was. But that. But, but that Pokemon's gimmick wasn't an, an ink. <laughs> it wasn't really ink, aside from the name of ink. Yeah. Yeah. We have a squid shoot ink. Yeah. That's kind of the thing. I'm kind of shocked that we didn't get a, get a, po get a squid Pokemon focused on the ink aspect. Okay, but yeah, a Pokemon based on, on squids and ink pens is something I really wish they were a, a, a revisited. Ten. Ten. This one, one, one is in my opinion one of the coolest, uh, 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 one of the coolest concepts. Then we have, uh, of stack this. Uh, this is, we have a, we have another kind of silly looking Pokemon. Yeah, scary cactus. We have a scary cactus, Cacturn. And cute cactus, the lapis. Cacnea is also cute. <laughs> but but we're, we're only going to fully evolve Pokemon. The fact this is um, weird. Yeah. Like, really weird. <laughs> it's more like a traditional cactus. Yes, yeah. It's yeah. with an angry expression. <laughs> Uh, and in several segments. Yeah, it looks, looks very sneaky. Mm, it's sneaky. It looks like the kind of Pokemon that would camouflage itself as a regular cactus, but then sneak up and stab whoever, <laughs> and stab you, but would stab you if you got too close to it. I'm thinking it would have been grass ground. <laughs> no, maybe even grass dark, or pure grass, or maybe even grass dark if it was an earlier generation. And, and, and this is really cool. It's really cool. It's a really cool yet silly looking Pokemon. Okay, another 10 for me. And there's, yeah, I've always had, a, ironically, a soft spot for this one. Maws! Or, 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 or as we call it, shark. It's, it, it's a shark with a harpoon. Oh, well, well, oh, seriously, we've heard the name Jag and Maws. How come no one's come up with the name Sharpoon for this thing yet? Oh, uh, some uh, uh, um, um, people did. Oh, really? I think that's the most fitting name for it. Oh, 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 this was obviously revised in a Sharpedo. Uh, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> oh. No, no. It's a shark. It's a shark, yeah. And it's pointy, yes. Like most, like, like like most sharks. sharks tend to be in media. 
and, and in real life. In real life. <laughs> if, if, uh, yeah, what and, shark do you know that, oh, that has a harpoon on its face? Um, <laughs> none. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I guess there's the, there's the... Oh, I think this might have been based on the... There was... Based on a hammerhead shot right across with a, with a, with a sword. There was this one shark. <laughs> or, or, no, I'm thinking of the ancient Pelicoprion. So this one might have actually been a mirage monster. Mm -hmm. Single stage, very powerful looking. Seems, seems to have the fact that it has a as a as a sharp weapon in on its front, but inspired by, by the, the ancient by the extinct Pelicoprion. Oh, oh, Trevino is just a is just some uh, 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 just a normal shark. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. And, and yeah, we also have a land shark or a guard shark. Seems to me Game Freak really wanted a shark Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we ended up getting two: uh, uh, a land shark and a classic sea shark. Oh yeah. So, uh, 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 so oh oh, what would you rating for a sharpoon? I'll give this one on, on a ten. <laughs> It's a simple but very effective design. Then there, er, then we got uh, 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 the, uh, the cheap and beta line. Oh my god! Cheap is is a is a fish with wings, like a, wings and feet. Very obviously inspired by the Mario and Amigo is the cheap cheap. And the uh, beta is uh, 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 ditches that uh, inspiration and becomes a fighting fish with a, with a fin mohawk. <laughs> Fucking way be, be, be flexible fit in a in arm like fins. And it's it, 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 it's it, it's a, it, this kind of looks like sensu or choreo. No, no, it's yes, it's kind of bird like with its beak, but that's that's a carryover from its pre evolution. I mean, I mean the sprite, uh, the the hack that had this made it purple. Probably oh, 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 oh. helps. Fins purple. Yeah, it, this thing really, this thing, it, it looks like, like a, like a, looks like a, like a dead, deadly physical attacker. attacker. I'm thinking, thinking it's in cheap would have been water flying, but it would have later, but it, but it would have would have ditched the flying type for fight. Might have, might have been, might have been a, 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 phys, a, a physical sweeper perhaps. So I think he would been fast and physically offensive. Yeah, this would have been uh, this 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 one gets a ten. <laughs> yeah. And then more or or game free uh, it's criminal record. Trixie or Tri Fox. Uh, uh, yeah. Or uh, uh, first seen in 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 the, in, the, in the Space World demo. Mm -hmm. Oh 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 this oh, oh, as, oh as you know oh several uh, several oh and they're actually uh, oh in fact they were actually. Uh, uh, I remember an interview. There were actually e e e e e several three-stage Pokemon in Gen One that were that were or cut down to two-stage ages because uh, 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 because of, uh, as of, uh, as of memory. Yeah. yeah, we had two scrap final evolutions, a scrap middle stage. We'll get into those three later, and it's a bunch of scrap a pre evolution. Yeah, scrap first stage. A bunch of scrap first stages. It's, it's, and now Volpix is Gen One. Uh, uh, one of uh, Volpix is Gen One for, uh, on entries. He, he states that it, had, 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 it starts out with three tails as, as a baby. It clearly doesn't. We've, we've never seen a Volpix with three tails. <laughs> but, it, <laughs> but according to this, it had a free evolution that did have three tails. So oh yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, it, it, come on, this is a this is a damn shame. Yeah. To ten. I love ten. It. numerically speaking, three, six, nine uh, satisfies my OCD. You said that Volpix didn't look doesn't even though Volpix does not look like a middle stage Pokemon in my opinion. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, then there is there's, there's the Ribbit the Ribito line. The Ribito line. Crocazuna. Oh it's evolution. Crocazuna. Obviously has sumo wrestler or er, er, er. as the name Prokazuna comes from Yokozuna, uh, a Japanese sumo wrestler. Er, er. Was he sumo wrestler or just a fighter? Er, just a wrestler. Oh yeah, he was a, he was a wrestler. Yeah, er, er, er. So, this is a, 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 a probably in the a, a water fighting. Mm -hmm. I mean, which, I guess I understand why they didn't go with this if they already had a frog Pokemon line. I, I, I mean, we already uh, had the and we know that Sugimori. No, 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 
What's Sugimori's favorite Pokemon? Sugimori's favorite po uh, Pokemon. Uh, Tajiri's favorite Pokemon. Tajiri's favorite Pokemon was Poliwhirl, so. Is Poliwhirl. He is Poliwhirl, so. Upon seeing it, so obviously he wasn't going to scrap his favorite design. Mm -mm. Yeah. Right? So he opted to scrap this line instead, which is a shame. Mm -mm. Yeah. And so, uh, and well, these. Uh, well, uh, mention. Well, uh, uh, presumably these were green in color. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Er, 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 er. So that would have. Uh, so, uh, wait. Uh, uh, yeah, Green Frog. Uh, I, maybe, possibly an inspiration uh, for Polytoad. Yeah. Although, oh, judging by the uh, the uh, the, uh, the appearance and and, 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 and and so I'm getting more vibes of Seismitoad you know, with its bulkiness. <laughs> Next, we have an. Rating. Uh, rating. Oh, oh. Rate this one a 10. ten. And then we have a scrapped freak, evolution line. Game Freak, what's wrong with you? Presumably another pseudo legendary line alongside Drag Atini, so. Why must you do this to me? The Skimper line. Skimper, Baligua, and uh, and Cryopin. Yeah. Skimper is actually later on, later in, in, in down the line. Mm -hmm. and so originally it was just us Baligua and Cryopin. Obviously, Whimper, Ball, and Ball, and Cry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this was a crying dragon. A crying dragon. Same. <laughs> when I just saw Cryothin alone. I assumed it was it, it was an ice type. That was Cryothin. Cryo, uh, oh, uh, uh, But no, it's cry like crying. So it's water <laughs> dragon, very clearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some think that some mm -hmm. that was this was re re this was, this was reworked in, uh, this this was, was reworked into Sobble, which mm -hmm. but, no we. We, they, again, these are interpretations. We don't. Uh, it's completely wrong. Back they were. The only note we have are the back sprites. And we don't know if they were actually going to be crying dragons. Yeah. Originally. It's just that also, their back sprites look like a, 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 a Kirby enemies. Yeah. It's. It, 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 so it this is a shame. Mm -mm. You could have had more dragon types. I, 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 I'm in Gen 1. And there's only one dragon line to choose from. Mm. Maybe then Lance would be so lonely. Yeah, instead of having fake, I, I mean, pseudo dragons. Mm, fake dragons. There's <laughs> 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 two dra Agonaires. There's a Dragonite. <laughs> then maybe he actually has something to use. <laughs> but no, anyways, it's ten. Ten, definitely. Then there's, well... Uh, the, yeah, we, we mentioned there was a scrap middle stage. I oh wait, we completely scrap. missed out. On, oh wait, we completely skipped. Uh, oh, we skipped. Our, we skipped one of the. We accidentally skipped one of the scrap uh, start uh, for first stages. Bitty bat, Bitty bat or Cobat. Uh, really weird. Uh, yeah, Zubat had a free evolution. This is a middle stage Pokemon, or is at least intended to be at some point. Yeah, we don't know what what point in development. Well, it's number 69. Index number 69. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but yeah. Wait, wait. Wait, no. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm glad this... I'm uh, glad we got Crobat instead. We got, we got a Golbat Evolution instead of a, a Zoo Evolution. Yeah, uh, this was just weird. Mm. I'll get a 7. I like the yes. design, but... In, in here. But... Uh, wait, wait. If not... Um, um, a scrap oh. middle stage. One of the two scrap middle stages. Zooduck. Presumably Zooduck. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, again, in reference to Cobat, uh, Cobat, Co, Co, Zoo, Co, Zoo Gold. Cobat, Zubat, Golbat. We, uh, we would have, and uh, we have Coduck to Golduck, so I assume the middle stage would have been called Zooduck. This uh, is. Perhaps uh, they would have been counterparts. And probably green. Yeah, this probably would have been. This Pokemon probably would have been green. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, really weird. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got the fan, and the fans get fan, and and and, 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 and localized name as weird duck. Yeah, weird. It, it's weird. Sure, it's weird. All right. <laughs> I, it, it, I, 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 it makes sense that, uh, and it does make sense though that Psyduck and Golduck were like originally out on a middle stage. And Psyduck and Golduck. I think level thirty-one or thirty-three. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of late, and plus, it, it, see, it, it's a very uh, early, it, plus the change is very drastic between the two. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. So, oh, it, would you rate this? Hmm. I'll rate this one 
a, a, a ten, and, ten. Mm-hmm. and it, it, it's, it's really well. And then, coin yacht. More on Game Freak's criminal yeah. record. Konya. Or as the local guy's concept. Or it's actually, it's actually Meowzy. Meowzy. But I'll call it Konya. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this really makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, this uh, looks it uh, be more sophisticated. Yeah. And, 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 and so, it makes sense that it would have had a more playful stage out right out of the egg. Yeah. Or how? Or well, eggs didn't exist, but you get the point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this uh, ten. Ten, definitely. <laughs> Shame this was, this, this was scrapped, and then. Uh, uh, presumably there's... Magnemite to Magneton, three on middle stage. There's Based not on... enough uh, up to gather from this. Oh yeah, it was a back spike that seems to be almost identical to Magneton's actual back spike. Uh, uh, so perhaps they accidentally added it twice in the data, or uh, uh, or there was legitimately intended to be another stage to this line. Uh, I don't know what to say about this. Uh, I just think it's strange and very unnecessary. Uh, yeah, this was intended to be a Pokemon. So, uh, I'll give it. Uh, what do you give it? Four. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll give it a four. Yep. But, and then, continuing the criminal record of, of Game Freak, we have. Uh, 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 Guardia. Yep. Wait. The Kangaskhan mirror on the Cubone theory was originally con- uh, yeah. true. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. If he has teased us time and time again, then- and, 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 But never openly admitted. And, and most recently with the- in the sun and moon, the uh, uh, can call for Kangaskhan, not Mirawak, Kangaskhan by SOS, and it's the only Pokemon that can call for Kangaskhan. Um, huh. That's really strange. And yeah, this is number 146 at, at X. Meanwhile, Kangaskhan was one of the first Pokemon made. So yeah, and alongside Cubone. Perhaps they originally they were originally going to scrap Kangaskhan and roll these two into one, but decided against it and decided to keep them separate lines. <laughs> Possibly. And, 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 it's, it, it's not enough. Not enough time. We don't know enough about it to, uh, uh, to, to uh, figure uh, out what the deal, what the idea or the plan can't, was. Can't just ask Game Freak about this stuff. Uh, 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 you know, they're not legally allowed to have interviews and talk, discuss this uh, data stuff without uh, 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 executive uh, permission, so... Uh, uh, and, 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 and so, uh, oh, this is a, it's a real shame. Yeah, and so and the Cubone Evolves at level 26. Yeah. For a single stage, for a two stage. Yep. It, it, so, next up, a 10. Yeah, definitely a 10. And then, uh, also from the, uh, from the demo, yeah. Uh, 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 Gulpin. Gulpin. In, in her Gulpin. Yep. It, 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 a Goldini pre-evolution. I mean, Goldini evolves, supported by the fact that Goldini evolves at level, level, level 20, at level 33. Mm-hmm. E for, e. Yeah, I, 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 I'm not making that up. Uh, uh, mm. uh, so, mm. Uh-uh. So, uh, 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 initially, Alex, we didn't really like this one, but it screwed on me. I like to envision this as the innocent, playful baby stage, and then the middle, and then there's the angsty, e, 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 self-absorbed, kind of like, va- vain, the vain teen phase of Goldeen. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hinting that maybe its name came from teen instead of queen. <laughs> Potentially, mm-hmm. and then, then Sea King. Yeah, <laughs> makes, the, makes the a lot of final stage. Makes a lot of sense. And so, and, 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 so diff- <laughs> uh, it's with the whole different personalities, these are different attributes for different age groups concept. For <laughs> mutants. So I, yeah, it's really grown on me. Yeah. Nowadays, I'll give this one a ten. Mm. Now, <laughs> they just stand on their record 
removing the KOTOR line. Yeah, you'll remember this from the Space Road demo. KOTOR line 4. But what you may not know is that they originally had a third stage named G and Gorotora. Uh, uh, uh. Yep, these were... S yep, it was not only scrapped once, but twice. And alongside it, I, I, it's, I, I, it's, I love it. Alongside its final stage. A, 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 a being scrapped even when they planned on possibly bringing it back in Gen 2. We actually knew about the, uh, actually knew about this, uh, 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 Chamber actually, he, he, he was actually contacted. The reason to prove the, the way they proved the authenticity, it, yeah, this was, uh, this, this when they were contacted. And what, uh, uh, by asking what po index number, uh, what Pokemon was in index number 159. I mean, now, at the time, after f seeing Kotora, they, they, they went back in an old interview showing off some beta designs, and shockingly enough, ended up. De uh, it was showing uh, off. It wasn't, it wasn't even showing off beta designs. Showing the interview about of the making of the, 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 the game. And, and they managed to see this. It was index. to catch a glimpse of, of Index 159, but it was seen that it seemed that it was too blurry to make out. But upon unable a ton of investigation and enhancing the image, the pose seemed to be a very rare, seemed to be a near identical match to Kotoro's sprite from on the Golden Silver demo. Yeah. Yep. This thing was this oh, from a 2004 need... video. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. The Oak's Chamber hadn't published their article on it yet, so there was no way anyone but that. So that it was near. The chances were near zero that anyone but them would have known about this. Uh, 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 but, so, uh, oh, they, uh, oh, oh, they asked. So, so to get some evidence, they asked for index. They, they asked to, sh to see a picture of, in of Pokemon of the Pokemon with the index number 159. And well, don't you know it? Just like they had uh, just uh, deciphered, it was Kotora. So this little guy was is is, is almost single-handedly responsible for confirming the authenticity of the, these assets. Not to mention uh, another uh, in Sprite uh, 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 assets we've seen uh, we saw on yeah. a recent. Uh, but this was the first confirmation of the, of the authenticity of the uh, uh, of, of these files. Oh, oh, oh. So, oh, uh, uh, yeah, Kotora, Raitora, and and Gorotora. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, uh. So yeah, we, the, this, 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 so they're electric tigers. <laughs> well, we have Raiko. But that's a, is Raiko like, goofy and round? Is it an evolutionary family? But, but we kind of have uh, we kind of have other uh, around electric types like Dedenne and Toga Demaru. Are those cats? No. We have a Yamper. That's a dog, not a cat. Those are very different. Uh, yeah, you guys are comparing my, uh, in, in rodent, uh, You guys are comparing rodents and dogs to a uh, to a tiger. Uh, uh, what the fuck? You guys are comparing a corgi, e, e, a hamster, a corgi, a, e, e, a pair of hamsters to a tiger. Yep. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Well, we so still don't have a Pokemon quite like uh, this one. <laughs> the, the, it's a shame. You want to know the I told you the impact of that. That we might uh, uh, want to know the impact of Kotora Aura. Yeah. Oh, this has become one of the uh, a community, but arguably the community's favorite beta Pokemon. And uh, yeah, right, uh, uh, right, uh, uh, as we mentioned earlier. We previously mentioned Racy B, the artist who uh, interpreted these sprites. And, and uh, uh, it's. Uh, 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 Drew, really Sprite Ice. Ice, Ice loves Kotora. My favorite the, Pokemon, on, uh, uh, my favorite Pokemon doesn't even exist. Actual text on their Twitter. And they an account called uh, Kotora. Again, uh, to try, uh, I to uh, help, uh, I to rally people together to try, uh, uh, or to get Game Freak to add the, uh, to re-add Kotora. And even more, or uh, that's someone from, someone, uh, 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 said that they wanted, that they will become CEO oh, uh, oh, oh, of the age, and they and their first course of action will be to add the co add Kotor on uh, on into whatever game is being worked on at the time. And, 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 yeah, that's uh, it's quite yeah yeah. You have my vote. Oh, oh, oh please, please, Game Freak. If you're seeing any of this, you will know how much people love this Pokemon. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Solid ten, definitely a ten. Anyways, next up is Puchikun. <laughs> so yeah, first seeing the demo. Oh oh. oh. Uh, you realize you guys realize Ponytail evolves at level forty. That's late. 
Originally, this Pokemon, though, evolved into Ponyta with a 20. Yep. It was normal type, too. We didn't eat no oof, so uh, it's a main what well, aimed in it. Yeah, it doesn't hasn't, really look like that. So it's so it's internal heat hasn't ignited its main yet. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, or the fan name given to this was Charcoal. <laughs> charcoal. I, oh yeah, I love that one more than many. Yeah, charcoal. Charcoal. It was oh. all um sounds it was not the name of a fucking Poke God. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Anyways. But charcoal. <laughs> oh, so yeah, charcoal. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, it makes more sense. It's a horse. It's a horse. Yeah. Or so, yeah. Uh, 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 or so, yeah, this is a, it's a shame. And this is scrap. Uh, 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 2040. Mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, definitely a pen. And, and then there's, what? Mm -hmm. What? Uh, 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 well, first, before we go over these last, these mo the two most interesting things seems to come out of this. Yeah, two others. Two, two others. First, Let's go over <laughs> first seen you know, on you know, Game Freak's website back in the nineties. Well, should we save the next one for the next video since yeah. apparently it's an extra that wasn't actually in the game? Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, 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 and I was only a Gen One Pokemon. Yeah. It, it was just speculated. Yeah, did. But we didn't get a design for it. We didn't have a design, so. so let's go over. Polywealth, as we're calling it. Well, Polywealth's original design. They showed in 19. It showed back in Game Freak's website back in 1997. And alongside the Kokana line. And I get and some in early Dragonair. And er, early and an early Dragonair. Er, 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 poly. Uh, uh, it was scrapped for. It, this was changed into the Polywealth. Uh, it was actually changed into Polywealth because game, because. Uh, 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 as they, they decided they wanted a more or or or, or fearsome looking final. Yeah, this shape. look. This fat lazy the, the king in frog didn't exactly look the most fearsome. Uh, um. So they scrapped it and made a made a more lean lean lean, lean and mean looking in Pokemon. <laughs> Polyrath. And also, it's notice what it's ha what's wearing a crown, which is a possible inspiration for the King's Rock being the evolution method. Polytoad. Despite it not have not, uh, see, not seeming to possess any royal attributes. Uh, uh, <laughs> so at least with Sloking it made sense of uh, the design. It's, wearing a crown. Crown. I mean, it's literally wearing a crown. So maybe this was the possible inspiration. Uh, but this was this might be the possible reason Polly Walk and Evolve with a King's Rock. The Pokemon said I, I might have to make this a separate video. Uh, oh oh oh. Yeah. It's an extra part. But it's but uh, uh, the, every, the, the Pokedex entry that they, they came up with it so. said it's extremely lazy. He can barely moves. And then they say it gets carried around by Poliwags and Poliwolves. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Wow, that's that's very very. So stereotypical lazy king. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this Pokemon. I actually really lo I like it more than Poliwrap. Uh, uh, yeah. This one's definitely a ten for me. Then the three e e e bombshells. Yeah. The three bombshells. First. So there was a long-running theory that, that Blastoise wasn't the original evolution to War Turtle. No, no, no. And this seems to support it. Because, so, here's how the order, the starters were was outside of Bulbasaur and Ivy, the Bulbasaur line were added very late, some of the last Pokemon added. It, the pattern went like this. Charmander, Squirtle, War Turtle, oh, Char Charmeleon, War Turtle, Charizard, Totardle. Uh, presumed name in, in. Very, very late in development, this Pokemon was scrapped. It was, uh, it, this, this was, is one of the closest Pokemon to making it to the final game. Mm -hmm. and, and they decided, I yeah. guess that it didn't fit it, it, it in with the, it, 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 the look they were going for alongside Charizard and Venusaur. And they decided Blastoise was a better fit, and put the and, and, and swap <laughs> up, to, up to up to up to it out out. But it was uh, the damage was kind of done. War Turtle, they didn't bother redesigning War Turtle, uh, 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 and War Turtle doesn't really resemble Blastoise. With these fluffy ears and ears and tail. <clears throat> Why is this the Pokemon the only Pokemon the line that has that? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> turns out originally it did, it wasn't. So yeah, the, uh, uh, I mean, if you looked at, at, at Wartorial and Blastoise silhouettes side by side, you and you didn't know anything about Pokemon, you probably wouldn't be able to tell that they were even related. Uh, uh, yeah, 
And, and yeah, Blastoise was, always was one of the earliest designs, but, <laughs> but it, was it, it, was it just meant to be a weird standalone Pokemon? Yeah. Actually, well, actually no. But oh. Totardo oh, would have probably been oh. fighting type, I, I'd assume. And maybe Blastoise would have been ground originally, since the steel type didn't exist. Uh, uh, but, uh, so, uh, and maybe, uh, maybe it's, it's rock, because yeah. it's toughness. As maybe we could have seen, maybe we could have seen, Maybe we maybe we could see this in the future, or or, or, or as a, like a legendary. Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe it's an ancestor to oh, oh, the or Squirtle. Or Squirtle. Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you see, originally Squirtle didn't exist. Well, it, it did. It, yeah, Squirtle was added late, later, as I said. Mm -hmm. Originally, it was going to evolve into War Turtle, and then and and Turtle. Tur 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 However, or, or, or of course, first because of memory, a, 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 yeah. because they were low on memory, a, 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 they had to scrap a, a, up a lot of Pokemon. So Blast type was among that, and they decided they'd rather have Blastoise than Totardo. So yeah, originally Blast type and Blastoise existed before the Squirtle line. So uh, and so they, um, so in a way, I assume they inspired it. It's weird. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So rating for Turtardo, definitely a ten. But wait, Blast type. Yeah, yeah. But Blast there's type. one more Pokemon. Yeah, we one are, more. Over Blast type. Yeah, but there's one more Pokemon, one more scrapped evolutionary relative that we have yet to talk about. You heard about? Uh, you remember um, last May? A, a, where, a, a, where they, they were talking about the design process of Pikachu. We learned a bit of a, a little, a little bit of trivia. Pikachu okay. was based on a Daifuku, uh, uh, based on the Daifuku uh, 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 Japanese dessert. And the original design direction they were going to go for was a squirrel. Well, that was the design they went with. Yeah. Uh, it, it, which is why you can sometimes see Pikachu climbing up tree in old, he's an old promotional art. And which also implied, <laughs> inspired Pachirisu and Amolga, being a squirrel and a flying squirrel. <laughs> Oh, oh. So this one, but but we want the biggest bombshell they just casually mentioned. Pikachu is a three-stage line. What? Yep. And they, uh, uh, they and, and it was and Peach Pikachu did not have a pre-evolution. Yeah, yeah, Raichu yeah. had an evolution. And, and, and it, it it bared horns and uh, horns and fang, uh, fangs. Or as this design says, only one horn. But, but what is it? Gorochu. The name alone sounds powerful. And with Raichu's uh, uh, 485 stat total, it, this Pokemon would have very clearly been on par with her, or, or been almost uh, been on par, if not close to Dragonite and pro probably Cryothin in terms of power. It, it, it almost a pseudo legendary in it, a Almost pseudo legendary status. So why was it scrapped? Well, for that reason. reason. Balancing. It was too strong. Yeah, in generation one. And not to mention the fact that the uh, the pure electric type meant it only had one weakness. Only had one weakness. Yeah, it, yeah, balancing in gen one. Yeah. So, um, so very clearly, Gorochu was too frightening for for game three. It, it, so so sadly, it got the shaft. Uh, often, well, Master was asked if we'll ever see it again. They said, probably not. Because once they a, a scrap a Pokemon design, they, they, they likely never go for revisit. That's very contradictory. Zuri Sugimori says he revisits designs all the time. That's the three Pokemon uh, on that magazine. <laughs> what appeared to be Tyranitar to have inspired Tyranitar, which which definitely he was, he was, he was actually used as Tyranitar. And what appeared to inspire Hitmontop and Tortuga and possibly Dreadnought. Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh. Oh, uh, uh, he just looked back. He was actually embarrassed by that uh, 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 cover. Uh, 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 but then went back and uh, uh, actually pulled uh, uh, them. Took some, uh, yeah, and took some assets from those Pokemon. But that's besides the point. But Gorchu, well, P the Pikachu line is already three stage. And unless they want to, we'd have to break a new barrier or her, her four stage lines if they wanted to add the, as relatives. And that's a can that's a can of Weedles I don't want to stick my hand into. Too. Imagine what they could do if they had actual a legitimate four stage evolution line. Especially the fact that Mega Evolutions already kind of filled that. Four stage and age, 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 po imagine a four stage Pokemon with a Mega Evolution. Oh, that would be the most chaotic evolutionary family ever. But either way. It, it, we 
could pop like Totoro. Well, I assume this Pokemon could appear as a sort of ancestor, a sort legendary. of legendary, an ancestor, an ancient ancestor to Pikachu. So, oh, 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 oh that's why. Uh, so, definitely. So, and, and, so that was a uh, part one of this. It's, oh my God, this video. Yeah, this video ran on. On for way too long. So I mean, uh, reaching over an hour. So yeah, so, yeah. We were originally gonna make this one video, but realized it was too it would be way too long, and we did not want to risk it, <laughs> recording two hours worth of footage and then the video of deciding to fuck up. Uh, so oh, oh yeah, that we're. Sense. Gonna end it here. That being said, I'm Elzorin. And I'm Emery. And bonjour, my wonderful viewers. See you in the next video. Yeet.